harm. I am Supergirl. Hey guys, just finished watching Supergirl season four, episode sixteen, The House of L. Um, wow, what an episode! This episode was very interesting. Uh, pretty much all of all revolves around Lex and stuff, Lex Luthor and the Russian Supergirl, and it was really interesting. So we start off this episode picking up right up where we picked off from last episode with Supergirl and Lex Luthor first. Um, for confronting each other type thing and Lex put, jumps out of the helicopter and he puts on his, his his armor and stuff and then they end up fighting over the Daily Planet and stuff that was really cool he even picks up the Daily Planet sign and stuff which is a really good scene and just I would have liked to have seen you know a wide shot where we see him holding up the, uh, the Daily Planet sign um, which would have been a really cool shot but we only got like you know him holding bits of it you know type thing but i think it was really uh, well well done and stuff and i think it was really um, interesting done and we see super see lex luther kind of training the russian supergirl throughout this episode and, and that was kind of really interesting seeing their relationship seeing how she was kind of she would go towards the supergirl the Kara, you know um path type thing and then he would just kind of completely derail her from that. I think that was really kind of interesting, seeing how he had to wrangle her in and keep her on the path that he wanted her and, and, and divert her path, change her path into there. So she's pretty much Kara, but just one thing gone bad type thing. And I really like that. She's got a little bit just kind of off. And she's just got a Kara if she had been nudged off the edge type thing. And I think that's really going to be interesting to see as to where things go with that. Um, we see this. We find out that Lex Luthor knows that, uh, or he just know, knows forever that uh, Supergirl is Carl Danvers and stuff. He knows his her secret identity. So I think that was really interesting. So that'd be cool to see where things go with that. We see Alex. We see uh, Luthor gives uh, himself cancer and stuff. Um, we find out that he gave himself cancer for uh, so Lena could you know could cure him and stuff. And uh, we we found that out last episode. Not that he gave himself cancer, but we knew that. You know, he had to fake give, uh, you know, he had, uh, he had to set up to get James to get shot so that she could, you know, use the hair nail on him, make it better, and then use it on Lex Luthor. He could use it on himself, but he even went so far as to give himself cancer. The whole thing was all part of his plan. I think that was really um, kind of interesting there. And because of the hair nail, he gets power. So that's really going to be interesting because it looks like look, um, that Jane Molson is going to also get power. So I think that's going to be quite interesting to see as to where things go with that. Um, it's kind of weird though that Lex Luthor he had he took himself gave himself cancer which it looked like it was like a couple of weeks ago a few months ago so he's had cancer it seems like he might have had cancer for like a month or something like that so it's been sitting it's been inside of him and it's been festering for a while and the way he gave himself cancer he just walked into a room and just irradiated himself so he had he should have a high dose of extremely potent like deadly cancer right um, and it's been inside of him for at least a couple of weeks you know maybe a month or so. Uh, whereas, you know, James just got shot, you know, maybe he got shot somewhere really deadly, you know, and all that stuff, but it just seems weird that, you know, um, he's had cancer for so long, and he just takes a serum, and 20 minutes later, he's standing up walking around fighting Supergirl, uh, whereas James gets shot, and he's, you know, and then a few hours later, he's getting with me, the hair nail, and he's not walking up later, so it's just, it would have been, would have been, it just seems a little bit inconsistent, I mean, it's very different, you know, the illness are two different things, you know, cancer and getting shot, um, but it seems like James should be, based on how Lex Luthor just walked up away 10 minutes later after getting injected, um, you know, James should be up and running uh, by now too, maybe, you know, walking around at least, something like that, so that should be something interesting to see as to where things go with that, does he get powers out of this? Um, I think that could be interesting to see as to what type of powers does he come out with, um, or is he going to just come out with super strength, things like that, like, like Lex Luthor comes out with. So I think that could be really interesting to see as to where things go with that. I mean, they should come out with the same powers because he technically, Lex Luthor would have given himself the exact same stuff. He was, you know, dying too, too, too much that he couldn't wait to, you know, pick the powers he wanted to give himself, right? So I think that could be something interesting to see, and it'd be cool to see as to where things go with all that so all in all i'm really excited to see as to where things go with this um the trailer for the next episode looks kind of interesting especially with it you know dealing with uh it looks like supergirl the evil supergirl goes to the white house and ends up you know, attacking everyone so i think that's really kind of interesting there and it's really going to be cool to see as to how things go with that and stuff um that'll be quite fun to see as to where things kind of go and how things how she kind of um, earns everyone's trust afterwards or how do they prove that you know it's a fake alien or something like that I think that's really going to be something interesting to see but with only six episodes left this season I really don't want them 
to reveal to the public, to the president, to the little world that there are two Supergirls and Lex Luthor, I mean, a, a, an evil one. I'd rather see them, you know, I'd rather, you know, maybe at one point Lex Luthor decides that, oh, well, there's no way, nothing I can do but kill. Uh, maybe at one point, you know, it gets down to the two, to, to the wire or something, and the evil Supergirl dies before, you know, the, the world can... The Supergirl can reveal to the world that Lex Luthor made an evil copy of her or has an evil copy of her, right? And I think that could be something interesting. So, you know, she's died. She's gone. Um, and then we have the next season where she has to build up everyone's trust after everything that's gone so wrong in this season. I think that's really where I'm excited to see as to where things go with this, um, the fallout of this. So hopefully there could be the fallout of this can be kind of permanent for the rest of the, the series, the rest of the show, the rest of the next season at least. And... Um, kind of really play with that throughout the next season that could be a really interesting thing to see rather than just have her kind of fight six episodes have her fight and then the last episode we see the two of them fighting and playing broad daylight in the streets and it's like oh there's two supergirls so one of them was evil there you go move on you know type thing and then you get back into the next season it's like nothing ever happened right that would be kind of annoying um and it's lex luthor and it's an evil supergirl you gotta have that the, the fallout of that last for a long time so that's what i'm hoping for this storyline here so let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below how do you think they're going to use it what do you like to see with this and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace out I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing. is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.